Hi friends, today uh, I'm going to talk about what's new in Google Play Console. So here's um, some interesting things to know. There is newly grouped navigation that organizes the related features based on task. Um, you also can see the new release overview page, which is very helpful. Here's the release overview page. This is completely new to Google Console. Um, and it helps you to monitor your page across um, all the tracks and in one place. So summary of all the tracks, it basically tells you like, do you have any apps in production? Do you have, and how's your testing? Do you have any open testing, closed testing and internal testing going on? And um, it shows you what are your recent releases and which countries you have released it by. And it also has a separate section over here for open testing internal testing closed and for pre-registration um, new production only release management it's also including a management of app availability by country and region so you also have the new production release management here so in terms of production also when you can release by countries here so these are new features in google play console um, you can see that you can have you can ma manage your releases here by countries. You can add the countries that you want to release by. Um, also, there is a redesigned um, device catalog here, and you also have a centralized advanced settings with an easy app availability option and a new release type definitions here. And you can also do a timed publishing is now it, it is now part of the managed uh, publishing platform which allows you to review and control what changes are published at what times so these are really awesome features it has uh, so let's talk a little bit about the release overviews so in release overviews you will notice that you can monitor your information about your app across testing and the production ta ta tracks like i showed you and you can focus on important tasks that need action with the release um, overview this is super awesome I have found it very helpful for my production environment but if you go here for example even right now it tells me that for this specific app that I have a sample app here it says that internal testing is active but closed and open testing is inactive so this is giving me a quick overview of my release cycles and you can also review how many users are testing your app here you can view the countries which uh, where each of the tracks are live and you can filter and search and control what releases or tracks you want your information about and that's really awesome here so uh, you can just definitely see the key attributes across all the countries and then again you also see the testing tracks in the testing tracks uh, as I mentioned the internal testing and public testing is separated and you can see a snapshot of that um, um, so another awesome feature is this pre-launch report which is uh, while testing tracks let us test our apps and games with our users the pre-launch report actually lets you to check the quality and the performance of your app through the automated test on the popular devices um, based on specifications in the firebase test lab for android so this is pretty some awesome thing the pre-launch report so definitely before you launch your app you should run the pre-launch report as it tells you on various uh, platforms what are the security um, accessibility and the performance and stability of your app definitely try this see app bundle tested on four different devices it will test on devices that um, it's compatible with then you and and I like the production I also like the changes in the production environment for the production setting where it lets you I mean publishing an app is definitely a big deal for all of us so uh, this makes a clear distinction between testing releases and the production so it's really like nice to have production separate from testing so that you can actually see like what what is the release that has happened in production versus in testing and uh, another one that is really important within testing is the pre-registration um, feature with pre-registration you can capture consumer demand from pre-launch marketing and activate it at the launch 
with pre-registration your store listing is published before you launch your app so that the users can register their interest if they're interested in it and they receive a notification when to download your app when it's available so your app will be installed automatically on the eligible devices when for all the users who have pre-registered this is really a great way uh, to kind of get uh, an insight into how many people are interested in your app and how what countries they will be based on so that you can customize it um, you know uh, before you even launch it sometimes and get the get a chance to um, launch with a big bang basically so um and what else oh yeah and I, I do want to talk about the advanced settings you have here this is an awesome feature here the advanced settings um, you have plenty many settings here but we will talk I will cover one of each of these uh, separately individually but what I really want to talk about is this advanced setting so in advanced setting you have the release types um, and you can now optimize on that too so you can quickly unpublish or publish an existing app with the app availability um, and you can also manage the availability of your app on different devices so in case you do get any ANRs like crashes or anything on specific device or specific uh, systems you can just uh, disable those so here I have published my app but you can also like do release management here release types right and you can uh, say what devices you want it on and you can do manage Google Play things like that so this is really an awesome feature to check out um, And again, another la lastly, I do want to talk about the managed publishing. Uh, you do get to do managed publishing, which is basically timed publishing that um, is now called managed publishing. So you get to see a summary of all your changes that are in review and control what when they are actually published in Google Play. Um, so yeah, these are the really awesome new features in Google Play for now, um, as of um, October 2021 and uh, hope you find this video useful and do check out these features and apply them to your to to your apps thanks for watching